Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try a Skyline Chili Bean Burrito. This is Cincinnati's famous Skyline Chili. Um, I was looking at this tag and I don't know if this is something I would have put on there. Contains sulfite, first of all. Flavored with Skyline Chili with beef and textured vegetable protein. Yum, that sounds so good. Um, does not make it appealing at all. Uh, 300 calories for this burrito. And there's the other information for you. Um, so, it has directions on here. It has three sets of directions. Oh, that sounds awful. They have a conventional oven. They have a crisper burrito, which to me is going to be dried up. Because basically what you do is you take it out of the bag. I don't want that. I like a good soft burrito, so I want this. So we're going to cut off one end of the burrito plastic wrap. I'm just going to try to open it. Um, heat the frozen burrito on high for two to two and a half minutes. Um, since I'm at home, I'll probably go ahead and do the two and a half minutes. Um, allow additional, nah, may go a little less. May go 215. Um, then, um, if you have more than one burrito, of course, go longer. And then let it sit for two minutes and the plastic wrap will be hot. So, so yeah, just open it up or cut the end off 215 for me and then let it go. The difference, like I said, is if you want a crisper burrito, you actually take it out of the plastic and do it for the same amount of time. So, I guess in the package it's going to steam it a little bit and out of the package it's going to, all the moisture is going to disappear. Um, I tend to find the burritos out of the packages tend to get dry and kind of hard. So, um, so I'm going to do mine in. So, I'll be back when it comes out. Alright, here it is out of the microwave and I haven't taken it out of the bag or anything. Um, it appears to be stuck. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Probably not. Um, give me one second. Okay, I tore the wrapper open and I just cut it in half. And you can kind of, it's very hard. I mean, it's very hot. But um, there's all the, the chili and stuff inside. Um, it's pretty full. The top's got a little bit hard. Um, I can't imagine what they've been like if I'd taken it out of the bag, the packaging. So, so I'm going to cut this up, let it cool off, and I'll be back to let you know what it tastes like. Okay, it's had a little bit of time to cool off, so here's the bite I'm going to take. Um, it's got all the stuff and the, tor the burrito part, the tortilla, so. Not bad. I mean, um, it's not the best burrito I've ever eaten in my life, but, but it's not bad. Let me see. One more bite. Hmm. It doesn't taste any different than any other frozen burrito I've ever had, honestly. Um, it's um, it's got an it's very beany. It's all like beans. Uh, the tortilla has a good okay flavor. The um, I really can't taste the chili a lot. I get a little bit of heat in the back of my throat, just a little bit, just a touch of, of a little bit of spice in the back of my throat. But that's it. That's really the only um, chili flavor I can taste. I really can't taste anywhere else. So I'm sure it's there. Um, I wish they'd put a lot more of the meat, chili meat in there, but um, I really don't, I really don't get it. We really don't get it a lot. Um, with this Skyline Chili with beef, um, I wish there had been some more chili with beef in here. I actually wish it had been filled with that and uh, not all the um, vegetable protein. Um, but, um, but anyway, it's okay. I'm going to give it a two, two and a half. It's nothing spectacular. It's just a standard burrito. You can get them anywhere you want all over the place and, and they're not going to be much different. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a two and a half. Definitely, definitely not horrible. It's not worth um, throwing in the garbage, but it's, um, it's just not exciting either. So it's something I would probably wouldn't buy again. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.